believe that learning new things is essential in keeping us on our toes. So I'm going to give you five awesome instruments that no one really talks about. And this is in comparison to other instruments, of course. So let's count it down. And don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and bell notification for my future videos. I appreciate it. Let's go. Number one, the Ald. This is a fretless string instrument used in the Middle Eastern music. The Ald is a string musical instrument that is widely used in Middle Eastern and North African music. Its history can be traced back to ancient times with the first known Ald-like instrument dating back to around 3000 BCE in Mesopotamia. Over the centuries, the Ald spread throughout the Middle East, North Africa, and eventually Europe. During the Islamic Golden Age, the Al became an important instrument in classical Arabic music, and its design and playing techniques were refined. During the Ottoman Empire, the Al became an important instrument in Turkish classical music, and it was also used in folk music of other countries, including Greece and Armenia. In the, in the 20th century, the Ald's popularity continued to grow and it became a popular instrument in world music and fusion genres. The famous Ald players include Munur Bashir, Farid al Trash, and Marcel Khalif. The nickel harper. This is a Swedish string instrument that was played with a series of keys or buttons that are pressed to change the pitch. The nickel harper is a traditional Swedish musical instrument that is played with a bow similar to a violin. Its history can be traced back to at least the 14th century and it has evolved over time. The earliest forms of the nickel harper only had one or two strings that were played with a keyboard or buttons to change the pitch. But over time, the instrument was developed to have more strings and a bow, similar to other string instruments. During the 17th and 18th century, the nickel harper was a popular instrument in Sweden, and it was used in folk and court music. However, it fell out of favor in the 19th century, and by the early 20th century, it was nearly extinct. 20th century, a revival of the interest in traditional Swedish music led to the renewed interest in the nickel harper. Number 3, the Hurdy Gurdy. This is a string instrument that has a wheel that rubs against the strings to create a sound. It is commonly used in traditional European music. The hurdy-gurdy is a string instrument, and it's played by turning a crank which rotates a wheel, causing the strings to vibrate and produce a sound. The instrument has a long history with roots that date back to the medieval era. The earliest known depiction of the hurdy-gurdy dates back to the 9th century in stone carvings from the Islamic world. And the instrument became popular in Europe during the 13th century, and by the 16th century, it was widely used by minstrels and troubadours. During the Renaissance and Baroque periods, the hurdy-gurdy underwent significant changes with improvements that was made to its construction and the playing technique. It was also used in orchestral music and often was used as playing the bass line. Today, the hurdy-gurdy is still played by traditional musicians in many parts of Europe, as well as some contemporary musicians who have adapted its sound for modern genres such as folk, rock, and world music. Number four, the glass harmonica. Now this musical instrument consists of a series of glass bowls or goblets in various sizes which are mounted on a spindle and rotated with a foot pedal. The player touches the edges of the spinning bowls with dampened fingers to produce a haunting ethereal sound. The instrument was invented by Benjamin Franklin in 1761 after he saw a musician playing Waterfield wine glasses. 
He refined the design using glass bowls that were blown to precise specifications and arranged to produce a chromatic scale. The instrument quickly became very popular, especially in Europe, and was played by famous composers such as Mozart and Beethoven. However, it lost popularity because some believed that the sounds produced a hypnotic effect that could lead to madness, and there were reports of musicians becoming very ill and even dying after playing it for extended periods. So as a result, the instrument fell out of favor by the mid-19th century. Now despite the rumors of the glass instrument, it continues to fascinate musicians and audiences alike. And today there are a small number of glass harmonica players around the world. And the instrument has inspired composers and performers in various genres of music from classical, experimental, and electronic music. And then we just dip some more water, and then we put it on. So that, and it isn't, it isn't just uh, slow uh, chords, you can do. Number five, the sakuhachi, a Chinese bamboo flute that is often used in traditional music. The instrument is believed to have originated in China and was introduced to Japan during the Nara period as a tool for meditation and religious rituals by the Buddhist monks. At this time, the instrument had five holes and was called the Hitoyoguri. During the Edo period, the Shakuhuchi became associated with the Fuk sect of Zen Buddhism, which emphasized spiritual enlightenment through music. The Fuk monks played the instrument as a solo instrument as well as with ensembles and with other instruments such as the Koto and the Shamisen. In the 19th century, the instrument was adopted by secular musicians, and its range was expanded to two octaves with, in addition to extra finger holes. The instrument was also used in theater music and became a popular folk instrument. In the 20th century, the instrument became popular outside of Japan, with many musicians in the West taking up the instrument and incorporating it into various genres of music, including jazz, classical, and world music. Today, the instrument remains an important instrument in traditional Japanese music and continues to be played by both professional musicians and hobbyists around the world. Hey, thanks so much for watching. And remember to subscribe, follow, and smash, touch, hit that like button. And remember, don't miss.